Nope. Nothing. <sighs> Cut it out. Turn that thing off. I just thought a closer look might get that not so little fella out of tension. Rub my feet. Yes, sir. <sighs> Hello! Hi, Mama Bear. Don't you knock? I don't think Edward minds. I do like an audience. Yeah, well, I don't. So get out! Relax, I'm giving you your mail. It's 10 o'clock at night. Why am I just getting this now? Because I had school today. Just because you don't have to work doesn't mean I get to stay home and play with my sex slave all day. Jealous? Very. I long for the day I suffer from erectile dysfunction. Who told you that? Do I have to get a bigger paddle for you? Yes, please. Relax, Mama Bear. The walls are thin and I have ears. Yeah, well, why don't you go Vincent Van Gogh, cut them off, and stay out of my business. Oh my god, that was amazing. He's been reading the art history books he left in the John. I need to buy more books, put them in there, and increase your joke repertoire. Kid, it looks like you're gonna have to skip classes tomorrow. Why's that? We have a memorial service to go to. Oh, I'm sorry. Who died? What? It. Anthony. He's been on that computer all night. You've been on that computer all night. Oh, right. I forgot you can't hear me. No, but I can. And I am sorry if I've been distracted lately, but I had to get these pages out before the inspiration left me. I was bitten by the writer's bug. But why? Oh my god, that's right. I haven't told you. I am writing a sequel to Pish Posh with Glenn. Anthony. I haven't tried this out on anyone yet. This is just the working title, mind you. But what do you think of Sweetie with an exclamation point? Yeah, um, but you do remember... Anthony Poppet, that, Glenn is um, dead. You got an invitation to his memorial service yesterday. Uh, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> of course Glenn is dead, I know that. Don't look at me like that. Both of you, Glenn is dead, I know. I can still write the book without him. It's what he wanted, after all. Anthony, why don't you come away from the computer and, and get some rest before we head off to the services? Look, I am fine, really. I am great. Yeah, Glenn is dead. Sure, but he lived a wonderful life, really. Trust me, no one knows this better than me. I have all these stories about him. I know, I know, I know. Well, I confess, I will never understand this person, he, she, it? Oh, I don't even know what the right word is. Oh, I don't think it really matters, considering Glenn is dead. Well, yes, Glenn is. But as I was trying to say, I never understood this Glenn, but we must never speak ill of the dead. I suppose. I hope your beau Drake is holding up okay. You really should be by his side, Evelina. Drake. Oh, Mama, he and I broke up a while ago. That's so last week. What? When did that happen? Well, I think it was right after he caught me making out with a clown. <laughs> what is this? This, uh, it's funny to you? No. <laughs> no. No, no, it's not funny. I'm done. I'm done. Whatever this is, whatever this is, Polly, I'm done. No, oh, Dre, come on, don't be so droll. Just because I made out with a clown, you're gonna break up with me? Come on. If that's why you think we're done, then there's no point in even talking to you. I, I don't even know who you are. I feel sorry for you. But I'm out. Don't walk away from me. If you walk away, I'm never gonna talk to you again. Do you hear that? You know what? I don't even wanna pretend to be who you think I am. Hmm. I am Apollina, I am Apollina, I am Apollina, I am, I am Apollina.
Avelina's O'Grophis. That is it. That is who I am! <laughs> that seems like it was it. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess he just wasn't good enough for you. You're right. He wasn't. He wasn't good enough for good old Polly. Hmm. Well, I suppose since you're single, we should get you dressed before the service. Just in case there are any normal men there. Mm, I'm not going to go to that. What? This person was very near and dear to your heart. I guess. And won't all of your friends be there? Probably. Okay, then I will not hear another word about you missing it. You march into that tiny, tiny little room of yours, and we will try to find something that presents that bosom in a respectable manner. But I don't think there's anything March, in there. daughter of mine. Oh. <sighs> Fine. I'm gonna go take a shower. Go over to Anthony's. Hunter is not your problem anymore. Truth be told, you're better off. Pop! He's way too uppity for my tastes. You need somebody more grounded. I'm not going over there to win him back. I just need to make sure he's okay. I got it. Good if it'd get under the table. Shh. No, I figured out why you don't want to be with me publicly. Oh, why don't you tell me? You're old. <laughs> you little pissant. No. You're like so old. You're like older than Hunter. You could die at any moment and you don't want to build any lasting connections with anyone. Yeah, whatever you say, kid. Now come here. Oh, how do you know, Pop? And that is how you give a good right hook. And that is how you stop the bullies. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Ashley, for bringing our newest member into the fold. Well, it helps to have a brother on the force who hears <laughs> more than his share of dirty secrets. Look, just look. I'll do what you want. But I'm innocent. I don't care what you heard. I don't care what you expect. We expect you to investigate my grandson's murder, and you will arrest who we tell you to arrest. Patience, Mr. Ashley, patience. And Mr. Diaz, you are the gift that keeps on giving. Why, thank you, but uh, I can't take credit for this. The memorial service just fell into my lap. Veronica trusts you, and we can use that trust. And then we can have our revenge. I think it's at this point that I should state that I'm just looking for remuneration for the time that I've wasted with the various schemes that Miss Stewart has drawn me into. I don't want to see anyone in pain. Nobody wants to see anyone suffer, Mr. Diaz. But if a little pain should happen to happen, well, uh, je la vie. Now, why don't you finish your tea, dear, so that you can commence to organizing today's festivities. Look, it's Jennifer Hills. So it is. Ms. Hills, you're not on my docket today. No, I'm not. In fact, I haven't heard from you since we decided to join together in this little pact. Legion. I really don't care what we call it. I just want to know why I've been sitting on the sidelines instead of getting my revenge on Apollina. Have some tea, dear. I don't want any tea. I want what Apollina stole from me! You lost a job. I lost a grandson and a wife to these people. If I could be patient, you can be patient too. But you made me a promise. It's because of Apollina. I lost the part of the Countess Predogia. I expect justice! And you will get it. Soon. Now, Detective Forsetti, you were just leaving. Please show Ms. Hills and Mr. Diaz the door. I mean, I mean, I was drinking my tea, but uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll go. I don't 
don't know about those two. I mean, he's too passive about the whole thing. And she's too hasty for revenge. At least the cop we could blackmail into doing our will. But Mr. Diaz and the woman... Pay them no mind. Dr. Mester is enacting our plan as we speak. Yes, the pieces are beginning to assemble quite nicely. Leandro? No, no, no. I told you. Start with the border. Piper? You have a phone call. here today. Yeah, I thought I'd drop by and say hi. Uh, where's Anglicus? Uh, he's at Drake's, I think. He's, he's gonna meet me at the memorial service. What about Ernie? He's finishing up a shift at work. Yeah, and he's gonna meet me at the service, too. Okay. Well, I just dropped by to see what you're doing. Oh, maybe sorry. Could... I gotta take this. Hold on. Hello? Yes? Yes, this is Anthony. Uh-huh. Really? Well, great. I will be on the lookout for your email. Thank you. I have a meeting with a producer in January who wants to option Glenn's book for a series. Can you believe it? Wow! Oh my god, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> have you been eating? Yeah, I had like dinner like uh, the night before last or, or so. I mean, yeah. Uh, so, uh, um, I just gotta get this thought out and then we can we can talk. Yeah. It's coffee. <laughs> of course, it's coffee. I I know it's coffee. <laughs> With, uh, with whiskey? With milk and sugar. Right, it's just... I know what people go through when something like this happens. I know... I know how hard it can be for people who are fighting for control. So Glenn's dead, so what? He was your father. He was my sperm donor. It takes a lot more than that to be a father. So he was your father. And that's why I'm going along with this stupid request. But the minute he's buried, I'm done. You're never going to be done with him, Drake. Not until you let him go. Or not until you let this anger go. You know you're pretty cute when you preach. Come on, let's go get me dressed. You need to eat something. It has been almost a year since someone tried to feed me in the shower and I have forgotten how irritating it is. Hey, it's not healthy not to eat. Hunter, does this look like I'm wasting away to you? Hey, eyes up here. All I'm saying it's not healthy for you not to eat. I'm fine. I'm plenty strong. It's you I'm worried about. I mean, can you handle what Glenn asked for in his memorial service announcement? Oh, I can handle it. If only you could see these people, old girl. We've had our differences, but I admit I'm impressed by the way you can command a room. Even now. What was that? Oh, it's 
quite a turnout. I mean, Glenn was widely loved. She was a wonderful person. I'm not surprised. Glenn's last request should be followed, no matter what I thought of her. This could be our chance to corner Carla and find out she killed Horatio. But we can't even see her. Chaz is right. Anthony's talking to someone over there. But how do we know he isn't talking to Glenn's ghost? No clue. How are you? I'm hoping, and you? Well, I'm upset enough to wear this dress. <laughs> Very fetching. Any idea how... He's a time bomb. Tick, tick, tick. Uh, hi, Gerard. Hi, Anthony. So, Dennis and Chaz and I were wondering if we could chat with you for a moment. Uh, sure. Actually, you go with Dennis and Chaz, and I'll keep Carla here busy for a moment. Okay? <laughs> so, Carla, what is Ghost Dick like? And if so, have you ever gotten lucky? together such a lovely affair and on such short notice. Thank you, Cameron. It's, it's nothing really. Um, I'm just happy to be there for you in your time of need. Um, one thing I did want to go over with you though was the bill. Uh, you weren't really clear about who's going to be paying for all of it. Really? To speak of money at a time such as this? Who would have thought you were so gauche? I, I, I need money. So you two want to know more about Carla? That's right. Why? Oh, no real reason. We just want to know if she's a murderer. Sorry. We just want to know if she killed people. Um, no, that, that's impossible. Carla's never killed anyone. You don't know that. Actually, I do. She can't kill anyone. She's not corporeal. Corporeal. She has no physical form. Yeah, but she could possess someone. She possessed you. That's true, but she wouldn't kill anyone. She's not that kind of person. You're right. She's not a person. She's a monster. Thank you. I'm going to go and work on my speech. Yeah, but... It looks like we're going to have to talk to Carla on our own. Look, Ernie, it's okay. We're cool. We're cool? We're cool. Cool. Nice dress, man. Not that cool. Okay. Cool. Oh my god, Polly? Yeah! Oh my god, Polly, it's you! That's me! Yes, <laughs> and it's me! I'm Milton! Milton! Yes! <laughs> How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm thinking about you all the time. I mean, hello. That was awkward. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, Apollina in there, Florida. What? What are you doing here? Anything you want. I mean, I was at the friend's funeral, and now I'll just all yours. Oh. Yes. A friend of mine died, too. Oh, no. Yeah. My friend, Glenn. He died. Oh. I was wondering though. Do you think you could help me with something? Oh, definitely. Can you make me 
into a man. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Take me. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> I cannot believe you're wearing that. It was Glenn's last request, and he was always nice to me, so I figured I'd honor it. Should I be jealous? I don't know. Should you? <laughs> I thought we weren't a real relationship. Huh? What are you doing with Reese? This is Reese. Oh. Damn, these little lady boys all look alike. I'm okay, everyone. I am okay. I don't need you to comfort me, Veronica. Hey, who is that? Father, I was hoping you could tell me that. Mr. Reed, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thanks. Uh, I'm Cameron Diaz, uh, no relation, obviously. Um, if I might, uh, sir, I do need to go over the bill with you as the next kin. Cameron Diaz, you disgust me. Can't you see the grief in this man's face? Um, I think he looks okay to me. Then you are a cold, cold creature, incapable of human emotion. If you can't look past the surface and see the pain in him. Drake, darling, come with me. Oh, but this all this all costs money. I I need to get All right. You're here, Teddy. You sure you don't want me to come in with you? You didn't know the deceased, Rupert. Neither did you. You're here for a man. That's not true. I met Glenn at that bar once. Come on, I could put on my makeup, make a few people laugh. I mean, who doesn't want to laugh at a funeral? Everyone, Rupert. Literally everyone. People are here to cry. But people are here to celebrate. This is why you can't come inside. You don't understand people. I mean, just try to have a good time. Maybe whip it out at the punch bowl. I most certainly will not. Dennis looks at me like I'm a distinguished gentleman. I will not wreck his impression of me. You're no fun. Love isn't about fun, Rupert. It's about securing, securing yourself, yourself a future. Yes, I know, I've heard it enough, but maybe, just maybe, that's your problem, Teddy. You worry too much about what could be, you forget to focus on right now. Just be a good baby brother and go fix Mrs. Mueller's car. She's expecting it tomorrow. Yes, sir. I love you. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, pick me up at 11. Mm -hmm. Bye. I'm fine, okay? I, really, I am. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm not okay. Because Glenn died. We're gonna get some answers out of you, whether you like it or not. Oh, I suppose you want me to possess one of you so you can communicate with me. You should probably possess one of us so you can communicate with us. Then we can get some answers. Look, Glenn was old, Glenn died. That's what older people do. That's, that's what everyone does. When my grandfather died, I tried really hard not to cry so that I could be strong for my mom. But it wasn't until I finally let it out that I felt better. You boys are tedious. Anthony! You're on your own. Look, Ernie, I'm so sorry. That sounds like it was really rough on you. And that sounds like a terrible experience, but that is not what this is. I am okay. Honestly. Don't you try to get away from us, Carla. We will haunt you until you give us some answers. All right. Dennis, Gerard, Chaz, knock it off. Carla killed Horatio and tried to kill that reporter! And we're gonna prove her whether you like it or not. Fellas, fellas, 
Hey, don't you think I would know if Carla was a murderer? No! You'd say anything to protect Carla because you love Anthony. Face it, you're compromised. That's exactly what the police lieutenant said when they did it. Does anyone know who that funny flapping man over there is? Oh, Ted! Oh, I hear you, buddy. What's he doing here? Cupcake, why are you so late? Oh, hi, I'm Milton. We had sex together. Yeah, the three of us, yeah. Keep your voice down. Is he the reason you're late? So what if he is? Look, I'm young and I'm talented and I can do whatever I want with whoever I want. And no one can tell me what to do. Not you and not no one. <laughs> maybe I should go? Uh, maybe you should. How dare you? How dare you treat him like this just because he's a foreigner with a weird accent? Or for the fact that he's much uglier than Piper's husband? Wait, what? Don't you dare belittle him because he's fatter than every man I've ever been with. I'm gonna have sex with this man tonight. Mm -hmm. Again, or for the first time, I'm not exactly sure, but it's gonna be amazing. And even if it's not, I'm gonna pretend like it is. Mm -hmm. uh, what's gotten into you? Nothing yet. That's why he's here. Come on, Morton. Uh, it, it's Milton. Shut up. Yes, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Rude much? Shame her mother can't hop in a time machine and get an abortion, right? Her mom's a Christian. Oh, sorry. Shame she can't jump in a time machine and secretly get an abortion, while at the same time posting anti-abortion memes online. Right? <laughs> Hey, hey! I didn't think you were coming. Well, you told me to be here, and I had a little time. Thought, why not? Excuse me, Father Anglicus. Yes. Uh, yes, that—that's me. I'd love the chance to speak with you for a few minutes. Absolutely, I'd love to spank you. I mean, speak with you. I—I I would love to speak with you. <laughs> Let's begin with words, Father. We'll see what actions they lead to momentarily. I'm sorry to hear about your dad. Yeah, don't think of it like that. Instead, congratulate me on saving money every third Sunday in June from now on. So, where's the body? It's in Mexico, I think. Glenn died in Mexico? I guess. Listen, I, I, I just want to get this over with and, and, and go find Anglicus, so can we just, you know, pretend that we're done with the small talk? Thanks. Thank you everyone for taking your seats. Let's begin. First of all, I wanted to start out by having Glenn Reed's son, Drake, say a few words in memory of his father. Nope, nope, I'm good, thanks. Well, I do know of one person who would like to say something on behalf of our dearly departed Glenn Reed, Mr. Stewart. Thank you, everyone, for coming out today. Glenn Reed was a wonderful man. He was a complicated woman. He was the best of us. He was the worst of us, too. But she always kept us coming back for more because very essence is love. Love may not be the answer to everything, but love is the way that Glenn Reed chose to live her life. And when Glenn made a mistake, he owned it. He 
Glenn had a victory, she shared it. My life has been enriched. Glenn freed the part of it. This isn't a day for sadness. This is a day for joy. Because we, all of us, got to have Glenn in our lives. And it's worth having a day like today. Because we have so many days which live on forever. And remember, it's so good. Wherever you are, thank you. Thank you for being the greatest gift I could have ever had. Anthony. Oh. Crap. He is so ridiculous. Is that the dead person's sister? Can everyone see ghosts now? Is that it? Oh, this better be good! <laughs> Hi! Oh, I am so grateful to all of you for coming here tonight. Except you. I don't know you. Yes, the gentleman. It's right behind Father Snuggles. I don't know you. What is your name? Dave. David. Oh, it's lovely to meet you. But I have no idea who you are. So perhaps you could just leave. <laughs> you did not get an invitation to this memorial service slash resurrection party. Oh. Oh. Of course. Well, there you go. There you go. Very good. Fa Wait! Father Snuggles! You're gonna meet the... You're gonna miss the musical number! Oh, Father. Madame, please tell us what is going on. We're all confused. Were my invitations not clear enough? Your memorial service announcements? The party invitation! <laughs> oh, 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 I... so, mm. Oh. Mm, thank you. And, by the way, you look flawless. Your makeup is wonderful, and look at you in there. You're so cute in that skirt. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah, really shows off his ass. I mean... I think he's a little young for you. Here. Obviously. Man's got eyes. Can't help but use them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, well, I, I can see how this could be confusing. I, <laughs> I forgot to mention that I wasn't really dead. <laughs> Oops. Surprise! Here I am. Or at least, the new me. Yes, it is true that Glenn Reed is no more. I am Glenda. Always and forever. Well, you look just gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I really appreciate it. And you know what, Anthony, I just have to thank you for that beautiful speech. It was it was just so wonderful. Now, maybe if you could just sit down while I tell everybody about it. How can you be so incredibly cool? Do you know that I thought you were dead? Oh, pish posh, Anthony. How can I be responsible for all those little typos? How dare you? You make us come out here and you don't have the decency to be dead! You really are that narcissistic? Anthony, let's use words you won't regret. I am not done. 
even if you don't care what your actions have done to all the people who had to take off work to be here. I mean, who I suppose I had nothing to do. Who had to tuck away their genitals. We were supposed to tuck? There is no way I could talk this thing back. Who had to fight to keep all of their feelings from being expressed. Yeah, trust me, I didn't hold anything back. Even if you don't care about that and what you've done to all of them, what about what you've done to me? I thought you were, I thought you were dead! And I have had the hardest time not collapsing into a pool of tears. <laughs> I thought I lost you. I thought I lost yours. Oh, Anthony! <laughs> See, but I'll go after him. I really think it should be me. Trust me, I know how to deal with him when he's like this. And you think I don't? I don't mean to tell you to stay out of it, Hunter, but stay out of it. Gentlemen, pistols at dawn. But for now, let me take care of my brother. I had you not dead. <laughs> All y'all's parties lined up like this? I mean, it's better than things going as planned. Who wants that? Oh. My. Goodness. I finally get it. You all are dressed up like Madonna. And Chaz. I just love it. You're so... <laughs> witty. Just so that we're clear. This is yet another funeral where there is no actual dead body. Just who's going to pay for all of this? Mr. Diaz? We are celebrating the life of a dear, eccentric friend and you're upset that she's not dead? What a ghoul you are, Mr. Diaz. What a ghoul. Oh my god. David! Hi, Angie. David, it is you. What, why didn't you tell me who you were? I didn't think you'd remember me. Like, I'd forget the first guy I ever loved. I mean, I... Hey, stop it. Don't worry, you were my first, too. My only, in fact. I always regretted not following you to seminary school. I just... I couldn't. I know. I understand. But that's kind of why I'm here. You see, I've started my own church. And I've been trying my darndest to recruit you to it. But Sister Mercy tells me she can't get a straight answer out of you, so... Here I am to ask you myself to... Seduce you, if you will. So do you have a few minutes to talk? You are okay. Yeah? That wasn't a question. I know you're okay. You're my brother. Oh, I can't believe the things I said to Glenn. Da, Glenda. Oh, I have to go apologize to her. Do you remember when Mother woke us up the morning Daddy died? Well, maybe it was different for you, but with me, she woke me up by letting her tears fall softly on my cheek. It wasn't... Um, Abrupt awakening like an alarm clock or a slap in the face, but I remember waking slowly and letting my eyes flutter open and 
seeing her tear-worn face. Mother was overjoyed that father had died. Yes, but in that moment, with the pain of his death, the pain of the loss of him, she forgot how much she hated him. That explains nothing. Mother hated daddy, yes. And so did you. So did I. He was worth hating. <laughs> But that didn't stop her from shedding a tear over his passing. Nor you, if I recall. Ugh, <sighs> oh, it was stupid. I was stupid then, and I am stupid now. Anthony, your tears for our father were not for the man himself, but for what he represented to you. Something that you thought Glenn represented for you too, and when you lost him, you lost that same potential. We all want parents who love us. But what we get is parents who birthed us. The love, well, we have to find that in others along the way. You will be paying for the dry cleaning of this before I return it, you know? <laughs> Why are you being so nice to me? You don't like me. That was the old me. And the old you. So, we're new people now. We get to like each other. Okay. Alright, fine. I'll help you with this puzzle. Girl, you better, because I probably should have told you this, but I'm a little bit colorblind, so this is hard. <gasps> that makes so much sense, especially with the color palettes you choose with those scarves. Okay, girl, maybe new me doesn't like you either. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Come on. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> I had a stylist help me pick out those outfits. Yeah, but those were just really bad. Like, what's with all those parts? Wow, that was some old fashioned Anthony. <laughs> Haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, well, uh, he doesn't like to come out that often because it's not good for anyone when he does. <laughs> you okay? Probably not. But I'll be, I'll, I'll get through it. I mean,. Listen, thanks for being there for me today. Well, of course I was there for you. Just like you'll always be there for me. We're Hunter and Anthony. It's not gonna change. Angie, uh, it's, uh... Hey, um, I, I just, uh... I, I'll call you back. Thanks for helping me out today. Fuck it.
Anthony, I would think you would pass on working with Glenda now. No, not at all. Anthony, I do think I should tell you about Glenn. Stop right there, please, Carla. Glenn, whatever he's done, good or bad, it should stay in the past with him. Glenn, Glenda, that doesn't change that- Pardon the interruption. I have to do a few things. Uh, can I help you with something? Oh, no. I, I was talking with Carla earlier, and she turned me on to some great ideas. So you just sit back. I didn't know such thing. How dare he? Oh, oh boy. boy. I'm not good at making speeches, but I know I'm good at taking care of people. And I really love taking care of you. Seeing you at that memorial today, you were hurting. And I don't ever want to see you like that again. I'd spend the rest of my life taking care of you. Anthony. I love you. Will you marry me? Well, Poppet? What's that? Nothing. Just the past. Deciding whether I'm going to put it behind me or not. Hmm. Well, I have another idea about your little impetus issue if you want to give it a go. Uh, I think I got a better idea. Come here. Huh. Well, this is quiet. Why don't you uh, read this to me? Seriously? <laughs> 